What's going on everybody, Bevaraji here, and I'm very excited because this is something that I wanted to do pretty much since we started the channel. Uh, and for just a myriad of reasons, it's gotten pushed back till now. But the important thing is we're doing it now. Uh, and like I said, I'm incredibly excited because I've heard so many incredible things about Hamilton, which is what we're watching today. Also, I am so just, this is not my genre or my alley whatsoever. Uh, you know, growing up in New York City, I was fortunate enough to to see my fair share of uh, musicals via class trips, whether it was in middle school or high school. I definitely saw my fair share and I remember enjoying everything I saw so, so much. Uh, but it's been, I, I have never gone as an adult uh, since then on my own. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's so expensive, uh, especially because they're all in the epicenter of New York City, and um, that just makes it an automatic tourist attraction, uh, so the prices on musicals are just insane. Therefore, there was just a disconnect, you know, a little bit of time passed, and I just didn't really revisit the idea of them. I've never even seen, I know Grease is a big one, I never watched that. The closest thing I ever saw to what I guess you'd call a musical is... Uh, Pitch Perfect and High School Musical, both movies. Aside from that, nothing else. So this is like a whole new-ish experience for me, for the most part, aside from seeing some musicals in person, you know, back when I was a kid, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's start it up. I have no clue what to expect. I've never even seen clips of this musical or movie. I mean, it's a movie, right? It's on Disney, Disney Plus, but uh, from what I gather, it's... They're just, they just filmed the actual musical. Uh, so I think we're pretty much watching a musical. Uh, I'm gonna read the description. I saved it till now, because I don't even really know what it's about. Okay, the filmed version of the original Broadway smash hit, Hamilton, combines the best elements of live theater, film, and streaming in an astounding blend of hip hop, jazz, R&B, ooh, okay, and Broadway, presenting the tale of American founding father, Alexander Hamilton, this revolutionary moment in theater is the story of America then, told by America now. Okay, so this is based on real events. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna, <laughs> American history is not my thing, so do not judge me for my lack of knowledge on whatever this might actually be based on. I know that I did not expect to see hip-hop art, and hip-hop and R&B especially, and the description of this like that's got me extra kind of amped for this and i know that the i know the guy's name is lynn manuel miranda or lynn manuel miranda something like that I, I think i'm pretty close um i see him on the screen here i'm pretty sure that's him because i remember him being like when this first came out he was everywhere uh he was like on all the talk shows and all that stuff so it did well i'm sure okay all right let's let's do it guys This is your king, George III. Welcome to Hamilton. This is so cool. It's like an actual. At this time, please silence. In spot in the Caribbean by providence, impoverished and squalor. Grow up to be a hero and a scholar. Down the drain, put a pencil to his temple, connected it to his brain. And he wrote his first refrain, a testament to his pain. There's some bars in here. This kid is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland. Know your name. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. Okay. Good intro. It's Alexander Hamilton. And the cousin committed suicide, left him with nothing but ruined pride. Something new inside. Oh my gosh. Alex, you got a friend for yourself. He's a friend of the He's destroyed his breath from America. Forgot him. We fought with him. We, I died for him. We, I trusted him. This guy right here. And me. Is killing him. I'm the. This is crazy. This is this is almost three hours, so I really don't want to sit here and pause. But again, this it's not something I do during movies and stuff. But this is kind of unprecedented as far as what we're reacting to here. Uh, the the forget about the production and stuff because that's like 
so far from what I've seen, that's pretty standard for the musicals you'll see um, from what I've seen so far, which is the highest compliment. Like, right, these people put so much effort into this stuff. But just solely talking about like the melody and the rapping uh, and the cadence and then the voices um the guy with like the the bald cut basically oh my gosh and then lin manuel i think his name is again i'm just we'll call him miranda because i'm almost positive that's his last name um he's got this really nice soaring voice but there's some seriously talented people in here vocally and i, I hope i can figure out who's who towards the end of this thing and, and gather. I'm not sure how many more people are going to be introduced as this goes along. Um, but wow, wow, the talent in this is crazy. There's so much rapping going on. This is the furthest thing from what I expected. It's so dope. All I can, all I can picture is the fact that I know I'm almost positive these songs are available for download, and all I'm picturing is like my list. Uh, that's what I'm doing here actually is creating my list of songs from here that I need to download right away and just play in my own free time. Cause my God. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. When's it gonna get me? In my sleep, seven feet ahead of me. If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? See, I never thought I'd live past 20. Where I come from, some get half as many. Ask anybody why we living fast. And we laugh, reach for a flask. We have to make this moment last. That's plenty. Scratch that. This is not come a on. movement. Where we're the hungriest brothers with something to prove went. Foes oppose us. We take an honest stand. We roll like Moses, claiming our promised land. And... We did such a good job again for someone especially first of all what a way what a significantly more fun way to learn about history than via textbooks right i mean come on uh also doing such a good job at very clearly establishing what he's been through um like just how far he's come along to to make it to the point where he is lucky to have made it to to he's 19 i think he said he's Lucky to have made it to almost 20 because people don't even live past 10 where he's probably they're very, very clearly uh, making it clear. And I'm sure this is so long. Like, I'm sure it's going to be so relevant as the story goes forward. I mean, he like, made friends for the first time at the age of 19. Just think about that kind of upbringing. I love how they're... I love how they're so early established too. Like, I, I already have a pretty clear particularly these three uh this individual a little bit as well but i have like a clear they're so distinguishable as far as um the talent and their role so far uh and just like how what they're providing musically specifically to all this so far um i am living for this man right here i cannot wait to look these guys up when the, when i finish this thing um but yeah I'm mr french over here <laughs> and then we have um Hamilton over here, obviously, and then I didn't catch. Was he Burr or something like that? I forget. Uh, but I'm sure we'll just keep watching. We'll find out all this stuff. Raise a glass of freedom, something they can never take away, no matter what they tell you. Raise a glass to the four of us. Tomorrow there'll be more of us telling the story of tonight. I just spent. Like two minutes ago, I just talked about how I, he was the one that I didn't even realize, like couldn't pick him apart, um, t uh, talent wise. And then he just melted my whole heart. Oh my gosh, his voice, his voice is m so good. Wow, like actually melted me. Ah, uh, bring the queens in. Tyler sister. Said to be home by sundown. In the city in your fancy hills. You searching for an urchin who can give you ideals. Burr, you disgust me. Uh, so you oh, that's Burr. Burr's the bad guy, you. right? Trust me. I've been thinking common sense by Thomas Paine. Be self-evident that all men are created equal. And we're not They're really singing the... Compel them to include women in the sequel. Oh, come on. Yes. Unravel it. 
the sound of screams, but the revolution is coming. The have nots are gonna win this. It's hard to listen to you with a straight face. Chaos and bloodshed already haunts us. <laughs> that's so impressive can you do you know can you imagine how hard that is for someone else to be you're singing along to the same exact melody but you're singing different lyrics like the the amount of concentration i'm sure they practice this so much emphasis on so much but the amount of concentration um the amount of concentration that that takes is next level an entirely different level of just Skill and concentration and practice and, and commitment. We get to meet the king. Finally, they've been hyped. This is George, right? Made an arrangement when you went away. Now you're making me mad. It's like the perfect condescending delivery. Our estrangement comes to shove. I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 the idea of this revolution. Uh, and now, don't change the subject. Cause you're Oosh. my favorite subject. <laughs> Whether we're supposed to like him or not, that's how you I enter. Fight the fight and win the war. Da 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 I can't take that seriously after those lines about killing everybody. Is that gonna be is that gonna be Hamilton? This is so the this guy this point first of all I thought the Burr guy was a bad guy, um, but I don't think he is. But I don't know, we still have so much to learn. <laughs> There's still so much left. This uh, guy is incredibly new. Like he is, uh, the the guy who's playing Washington, or George Washington, is he's so indicative and, and representative of like a New York type rapper. Um, like he is representing that to a T. I can't tell you just how much he's embodying that with his the way he's carrying himself, his swag, his cadence, his delivery, his tone. Um, Everything is just like wow. I, I'm almost speechless the way he's kind of killing that. Get me wrong, you're a young man of great renown. I know you stole British cannons when we were still downtown. Mm. Nathaniel Green and Henry Knox wanted to hire you. you. Had to be their secretary. I don't think so. Now why are you upset? I'm not. It's all right. You want to fight? You've got a hunger. I was just like you when I was younger. Head full of fantasies of dying like a martyr. Yes. Dying is easy. Young man living is harder. Why are you God, this, this guy's I'm being honest. I'm working with a third of what our this cast. Ah, uh, we're bringing this back in. I am not throwing away my and even like the, I didn't even catch on to the music transitioning back into that song. She playing the the wingman. Oh, come on, this is... It's like a R&B ballad. And the lyrics are so much more modern than anything else I've heard so far. Where are you taking me? I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Elizabeth Schuyler. Yes! It's a pleasure to she meet played you. Wingman. My sister. And I'm trying not to cry because there's nothing that your mind can't do. My father makes that me that me harmony as it comes in. So he already likes him, right? It's like a, this is like my favorite song so far. 
is helpless. I'm guessing this one's called helpless. Ah, oh, the run. Are they getting married? Yeah, I think he just asked for her hand. I didn't expect that. <laughs> we love a love story. They just turn a whole like bride's maid, maid of honor, maid of honor speech into this whole 90s R&B like little riff. God, I'm, I have so many feelings about this is, this is outrageously good so far. I'm just, I'm getting completely lost in this. That's. What? I was just saying 90s R&B, and now we're getting... Wait, what? What's happening? I don't know what you mean. Break them with the key and a kite. You see it right. The conversation lasted two minutes. Oh my, come on! Three minutes, a bit of a dance, a bit of a pass, three lies. Three fundamental truths of the exact. Tell me all three. Where are you taking me? I'm about to change your life. Then by all means, lead the way. Number one. I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has to social climb for one. Because I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is and city is. And Alexander is penny lit. This? Oh, that doesn't mean I want to many less. She's killing. This is Skylar. It's a pleasure to meet you. Skylar. Oh, they're my sister. playing it back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So when they first met. Do you regret that? Thank you for all your service. It takes fighting a war for us. That's so awesome. that's so well done. I'll leave you to it. But she's not happy about that though. I was wondering. Okay, she has stolen this entire show. Well, that's fucking sad. And now we're back to the the original speech. What? Wow! <laughs> First of all, I already said it. She just stole this entire show within a matter of like six minutes or whatever that time frame was. She completely just overshadowed everybody up to this point in the and that's like saying a lot because what i've seen has been outrageously incredible but come on give props for their due wow like the back and forth between the full uh ballad singing to like legitimate rapping not just like spoken word rapping she was in and out of cadences fast rapping uh delivering the lot like she, it was that was crazy that was crazy Wow. And then the way that they had me uh, wondering uh, if it was 
like is this happening no but like the way the it's the lighting the way the lighting is moving uh, i'm starting to catch on now that the way the lighting is moving is indicating whether or not they're going like into someone's thoughts um going back in time as to what was happening they even did like a little bit of a fast-paced uh, instrumental that made it feel like a little bit of a stut stuttered instrumental that made it feel like we were kind of doing like her going back in her own memory when she was like she gave the speech i can't even catch my breath this is so exciting she gave that speech the maid of honor speech and it just pauses for her to go back into her memory when they first met and then they're showing us the conversation that they had which they did not show the first time they just showed them together and showed her introduced her to her sister uh you guys, this is, this is, man, this is so good. The legacy to protect, death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes and we keep living anyway. We rise and fall and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason, I'm still alive when everyone who loves me is dead. I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. This is a whole... Ah. This guy is killing her. What is it like in his shoes? Or you could die and we need you alive. I am more than willing to die. Your wife needs you alive. Son, I need you alive. Call it, son, one more time. Go home, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. So go home. He's obviously triggered by that. This guy playing Washington. It's unbelievable. It's not enough for him. That's so beautiful. The challenges you are facing, the worlds you keep erasing and creating. Now we have a secret weapon, an immigrant. You know a love who's unafraid to step in. He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman. Let's go! What? Let's go. We rendezvous with Rochambeau consent. So you're gonna have to use him eventually. What's he gonna do on the bench? I mean, what has more resilience or matches my practical tactical brilliance? You want to fight for your land back? I need my right hand man back. Get your right hand man back. You know you gotta get your right hand man back. You gotta put the button to the letter, but the sooner the better to get your right hand back. Alexander Hamilton. If we manage to get this right. First of all, I, I, the, 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 man, I'm trying so hard not to stop this because this is so long, but Lafayette, I, I'm so happy he got that moment. It wasn't as long as I was hoping it'd be for. I wanted him to have like a full, like, burr moment. Um, but oh my gosh, he came in so hard. They'll surrender my early life. This man right here. Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette in command where you belong. Are you saying no sweat? We're finally <laughs> on the beach. We've had quite a run. Immigrants. We, we get, get the, the job done. Hey. 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 I go back to France every I love how all these songs keep coming back in and out.
Oh my gosh. I love how it came back together with the ones that started in the bar in the beginning too. I was wondering where I think Mulligan is his name. I was I fell in love with his rapping abilities. So oh my gosh. I love everyone that's been in this so far. And, and the best part thing is but I think I said it earlier. I love them all in such different ways. Like they all stand out so significantly. Going into this, I was concerned probably more than anything about being able to pull, uh, pick apart who's who based on like what they're doing and remembering who's who going uh, uh, as this was going on because usually you have so many different characters in these musicals, but they all just have such wild talent and that they all stand out so clearly and it's made it that much easier. Um, and then Mulligan popped out at the end there as I guess he was like a mole that was undercover or whatever and, and made their plan work out. <laughs> I was like, he's back. I almost forgot all about him because everything that's been going on, but I'm so glad he came back because I loved him earlier. And then you had um, like Lafayette there with his friend. I mean, Lawrence is, I think Lawrence is his name, right? The guy that can sing. Oh, um, is Hamilton's best friend. But Lafayette was the one that was there. And back. Like, there's just, so, there's, there's, this is incredible for the 50,000th time. It's so much better than I could have possibly imagined. Oh no. <laughs> he just, he plays, he plays this character so well. If he hits me with those da da da's, I'm gonna lose it. You cheat with the French. You're on your own. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Do you have a clue what happens now? Oceans right. Empires fall. Ah, oh, he did that the first. Oh my gosh. It's just such a smart melody because it's so condescending. Look at the lighting on that. It looks like two completely separate, like, areas. They're talking, they're both talking to their child. So Burr had a, Burr had a kid with the, the white, with the woman who was shooting. I didn't know that. Practically perfected it. I've seen injustice in the world and I've corrected it. Now for a strong central democracy, if not, then I'll be Socrates throwing verbal rocks at these mediocrities. Yeah. In at the Constitutional Convention. I was chosen for the Constitutional Convention. There is a New York Junior Delegate. Wait, they just jumped into this. It's so lighthearted, kind of. I mean, it is. Right after Lawrence died like that, that was so sad. <laughs> I love the character. He was just so admitted, just so much positive energy. Um, I need to like recover from that a little bit, but I guess this helps with that a bit. Um, yeah, he's they're going in a completely different direction with this now. I love Burr's accent when he sings. It comes out a lot stronger actually when he sings than when he's talking um, or you know performing here. Uh, and it just sound it's so beautiful. Is it, just the way that that. The inflection of that accent as it comes out when he's singing, especially, is just so so nice. Understand how you stand to the side. I keep all my plans close to my chest. Wait for me, I'll see wait. right here. God, just that's the tone of his voice is so nice on the ears. Of course he did. Ah, uh, look how they spun that back in. That's how Hamilton carries himself. That's, um, that's exactly, they were singing that when they first met, right? That he will never be satisfied. 
lines. That's oh, the full circle of a lot of these uh, lyrics are just blowing my mind. How does the bastard or Finn immigrant decorated war vet unite the colonies through more debt? Ah, uh, listen to the. He has like a whole different resume now than than his resume before. I like that. It's like it's got the same melody to it, but totally different resume. Rewinding doesn't really work well on this. So what did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> what is this? Virginia, my home sweet home. I want to give you a kiss. I've been in Paris meeting the Hamilton. Oh, yes, I love this man. Such a character. So what did I miss? They do so well at introducing new characters into the although I thought he was Lafayette at first, but he's uh Jefferson. He's a completely different character. I don't think it's the same actor. I mean the other actor had like uh his hair tied back, so I don't know if He's playing both with just different hair. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna keep watching, obviously. Uh, but point being, whether it's the same actor or not, the way they're introducing them uh, is so well done. It makes them stand out so well. Uh, with every single character has been introduced brilliantly. He's been practicing all day. Philip, take it away. Okay, so they are playing multiple roles because that's definitely the guy, uh, guy that's playing Lawrence who died. And then, so I'm gonna, that, to laugh at is playing, uh, another, like, um, the role of Jefferson as well. So that makes more sense now. Hey, Daddy, look. And I, I think that even, um, uh, Mulligan was playing another role as well. Was it Madison, I think? My name is Philip. I am a poet. <laughs> I wrote this poem just to show it. And I just turned nine. You can write rhymes, but you can't write mine. What? I practice French and play piano with my mother. Uh -huh. I have a sister, but I want a little brother. Uh -huh. My daddy's trying to start America's bank. And the twat the Take a break. Hey, y'all kidding me. Hey, for the summer, I'm glad that the act... I, I got so sad because I was, uh, for... I mean, the fact that, you know, I love the, the character who's playing, but I'm glad that the the actor or however you would refer to this profession uh isn't done with the musical period because i just love the energy that he's brought it just like radiates this positive energy he just did it again oh. gosh Plan through Congress. I can't stop till I get this plan through Congress. Yeah, there's no way. Eliza and Angelica fucking serve these vocals. God, especially when they come and start singing together. Yes, sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me. Down on they luck. You see, that was my wife who decided to. Uh -oh. Yo! Sucker, I cut cold, so time to paint the pipe, I fold the pants, you unbuckle. And hey, you can keep seeing my whole wife if the price is right. If not, I'm telling you. Oh, he's gonna blackmail him? Shit. I don't know about any life. Stop crying, goddammit, get it! I didn't know any better! He's a limit. I don't have this. He is in deep if he is still after the blackmail. <sighs> Messy. This is so messy, which is so also indicative of like R&B, hip hop and R&B music. Hey, 
right. I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Silly. Talk less. Smile more. Back to the... Do whatever it takes. That's the original advice. I love when he comes in with that. This is such a cool way to emphasize the importance of what's happening. Look at all the chore all the choreography up here that's matching the choreography down there. Oh my god, burn! Yes, I hope they're standing up in there because Burr is. Look, Grandpa's in the paper. The faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion. Because uh. I myself must soon be to the mansion. He's writing as Washington, but like a lot of this relates to him as well. It's so smart. There's another one. One last time. That that's that's this is this man is this man has no business not showing his voice off to the entire world. Holy fuck! Guys, what? What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? My, I, I'm shaking. Oh, you can't follow this. We can't follow that with this. <laughs> you can't. These, these two don't belong on the stage together. <laughs> I wasn't aware that was something a person could do. Of course you weren't aware of that. I'm perplexed. <laughs> Are they going to keep on replacing whoever's in charge? That's what we so who's next? That's so interesting. Because we change every four and eight years and they never change. John Adams. <laughs> I know him. That can't be. That's that little guy who spoke to me. <laughs> this he's President John Adams. killed this role. Good luck. I thought it was going to be Jefferson, though. There's something going on there. Out of what is this? We have the check stubs from separate accounts.
Oh, for the for the woman. Mr. James Reynolds, way back in 1791. No. You are uniquely situated by virtue of your position. Though virtue is not a word I'd apply to this situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from your sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engaged in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government funds. I can almost see the headline. Your career is done. Oh, not even that. He was embezzling. So he wasn't embezzling. I thought they found out that he paid the um paid the the girl's husband. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That so that is what this escorted me to bed and when she had me in the corner that's when to your satisfaction. But now they know that though, but it's not treason. <laughs> He's like, we didn't expect all this. I'm not here for you. Uh, I don't think she She's gonna be struggling. Bring that line back. It's raining down on him now. He lost. This guy right here is killing this whole thing. He's just incredible. So he can't be president. He lost Angelica's affection. He's probably gonna lose his wife, I guess. I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have he's gotta have some kind of game plan with sharing everything. He dug his own grave. Oh my god, I love the the I love the lyrics of this cuz it's so focused. You have all this other stuff going on. It's like war and politics and and over throwing or or whatever you want to call it. Um so many different things going on, but then you have like the scandals going on and all that. But this is so specifically focused on like how realistic it is. Uh, like what people go through when they do get cheated on and overanalyzing certain things and, and going back in their memory banks to, to think, to try and pick out little signs of, of um, whether, uh, whether it's either what she's saying, if it's either um, looking for the signs of um, when he was doing something or when he used to love her, like she said, when, when you were mine. Either way, like you're trying to hold on to that, like the good memory of it or like i said try and find out where it was that you like what you missed how this could have happened either way it's such like a realistic and relatable thing if you've ever been through that for anybody that might have um it's such a it's just so smart like the, the lyrics and so that's the thing about all of this is that the production is crazy right the choreography of all this has been unreal the lighting has been like this everything about this is perfect and the talent has been i'm gonna get into that at the end the talent has been way more than i expected just you're talking about like real singers doing all this stuff um and i know real singers are on broadway and whatnot but i'm talking like it's like i'm i'm gonna go search for albums from these people that's how blown away i am uh but the lyricism has been something that's completely just the probably the last thing i expected was how good the lyricism has been through all this and i know it's like built to kind of be a film so it makes sense in that way uh, but it's just, it's, I can't believe what I got here. <laughs> you, done, she said. You've never you flew too close to the sun? sun. Par Paranoid in every paragraph, how they perceive you. When you broke her heart, you have torn it all apart, I'm watching you. Oh, my God. 
Oh, wow. The heartbreak. And astonished the scholars say I got Fella. the same virtuosity and brains as my pops. The ladies say my brain's not with the resembling stuff. I'm only 19, but my, my father, but boom, he's 19. I that's his legacy with pride. I used to hear Hamilton's age when this started. They're like a man until Eker is in front of you. When the time comes, fire your weapon in the air. This will put an end to the whole affair. What if he decides to shoot that I'm a goner? No, you'll follow suit if he's truly a man of honor. If this character dies twice, it, <laughs> it's two different characters. Oh, please don't get shot. Come on. He lost a lot of blood this on the way over. Yes, but you have to understand. The bullet entered just above his hip and lodged in his Can right arm. Can I see arm. him, please? I'm Your strength and stay alive. No! Is he breathing? Is he going to survive this? Who did this? It's like full circle. Like Hamilton was the one that did all these bad things, whatever you want to call them. Um, and he shared all everything he ever did. And that's why these people are talking down on him. And the people talking down on him is why his son went picking that fight. And now he's dead as a result of that. And Hamilton's going to have to bear that now. And I don't... Man, oh... started I know I don't deserve you Eliza but hear me out that would be enough oh. if I could spare his life if I could trade his life for mine he'd be standing here right now and you would smile and that would be enough I don't pretend to know These two actors, just the facial acting. Don't laugh. Who is it? You used to work on the same staff. Wow. It might be nice, it might be nice to get Hamilton on your side. It might be nice, it might be nice. Why would he do that? Hamilton on your side. Talk less, smile more. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Say hand with him. Ladies, tell your husband, vote public. He's been very consistent. Well, he's gonna lose. That's just defeated. He's. Hamilton, John Adams doesn't stand a 
He's living in his own pity. It's him or me. The world will never be the same. He's gonna shoot up though. I had only one thought for the slaughter. This man will not make an orphan of my daughter. Look him in the eyes, they know how you summon all the courage you require. Then tell me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So nervous. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Is this where it gets me? On my feet, several feet ahead of me. I see it coming. Do I run or fire my gun or let it be? There is no beat, no melody. Burr, my first friend, my enemy. Maybe the last face I ever see. If I throw away my shot, is this how you remember me? What if this bullet is my legacy? Legacy. Such a smart way to, to do slow motion planting seeds in a garden on Broadway. You never get to see. I wrote some notes. I catch a glimpse of the other side. I'm running out of time. He's always run, writing. Soldiers cries up and lies. Uh, my love, take your time. I'll see you on the other side. He shoots up. Raise a glass to freedom. He aims his pistol at the sky. Wait! <sighs> I strike him right between his ribs. He sent his goodbyes, though. Both at his side when he died. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. History obliterates. In every picture it paints, it paints me and all my mistakes. When Alexander aimed at the sky, he may have been the first one to die, but I'm the one who paid for it. I survived, but I paid for it. Now I'm the villain in your history. Oh, that's so perfect. That's so perfect. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. It's like speechless towards the end. <laughs> oh, everything is hitting me right now. All at once. It's like, the amount of work that must have gone into this is overwhelming me right now. Okay, alright, 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 alright. First of all, I love The Roots. The Roots are... Wow. Uh, I'm gonna listen to this as soon as we cut this camera off. Um, did The Roots do all the instruments for this whole... Because they had like an orchestra. The Roots don't... I don't know if the Roots have a violin. Let me know how much the Roots were involved, if at all, outside of this closing song here. Seeing everyone on stage at the end there hit me uh, it's really, really hard. Uh, got me really emotional. I think, and that was just out of sheer admiration from what I just saw. Uh, so crazy how it all comes together. It's... Like, it's, it's the story of a story, really, and how your story gets told and all the different ways that that can divert through through decision making and 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 death ultimately and how it can get told by other people and and legacies carried on and whatnot i mean there was so much when i read the description and then as it started there's just a few minutes in i'm thinking okay it's gonna be like mostly political let's strap up and let's really just 
brace ourselves for that. And it was just everything that I just explained it to be, which is just a much deeper message than than just being like being political or telling a story about our history, which it did that so well too. But there's like this deep message to it as well about telling your own story and <laughs> writing like writing like you're running out of time. The talent that was in this was insane. I feel like I I I hope I shouted everyone out during it as much as I could anyway without you know you don't want to pause too much during something like this and uh ruin the flow of or or mess up the flow of how it's going oh my gosh i just can't wait to like i have so, like one shot unimaginable one last time obviously um something i wrote down that i can't read <laughs> helpless wait for it like i have so many songs that i want to go look up right this second and download and and just listen to over and over and over again all these characters i mean i don't want to single anyone out because everyone was incredible but what but the character of washington uh wow 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 but then again elijah really took over there towards the i mean she played a much bigger part than i anticipated her to to play uh elizabeth uh uh lauren slash philip his voice Got, I mean, Burr, Burr, he had this like total Caribbean vibe going on that just worked so well for this. There, there's so many standouts that I sitting here and going one by one just isn't even enough. <laughs> look at them, look at them. Like they have all the words just completely messing with my head right now. I love how everything was constantly intertwined. Uh, throughout this whole thing and uh, lyrics kept coming back and then changed and 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 made to fit into the narrative of the story so well this was inc this was this was everything i get the hype now i can't believe how emotional i got like after it was over sheer admiration the amount the amount of time and effort that mu must have went into perfecting this because this was per this was perfect like the only the only question i would have is the sisters because uh, if they were going, if they were telling Alexandra's story at the very end, if they were telling Alexandra's story, uh, Elizabeth and Elijah, then wouldn't Elijah have found out some of the conversations Elizabeth was having with Alexandra? Because those weren't the most appropriate conversations, were they? I mean, even if they weren't specific, there had to be some kind of tone to it that Elijah may not have loved. Or maybe I'm just like... Um, uh, overestimating what that was or overanalyzing what that was. Um, but yeah, because if she went to Elizabeth to help tell Alexandra's story through all the letters they were writing, and she may have seen things. Uh, but that's like a whole different story. Like there's so much more to this entire thing that is just, this really just makes you think about time and, and what you want your story to be and how your, like Burr's story, he's painted out to be the bad guy, right? Is he really the bad guy, though, aside from uh, just not really choosing a side? Like, he just is, I mean, kind of a classic politician, honestly. I thought that was so interesting there, where he's painted out to be the bad guy because Hamilton made the decision to shoot at the sky, allow himself to die. And, and, and the irony of that is that that's how he ultimately ended up telling his story, was by letting himself run out of time and knowing that that... That's how it would be written in the history books, so to speak. And if there are any more musicals that I'm missing out on on this level, let me know. And I will 1,000% check them out. Um, let me know if there's any songs. I mean, I'm going to download the whole. I assume there's songs. Um, a lot of these actors, actresses, I'm not really sure what you would refer to them as. I'm just going to call them actors and actresses, musicians, singers, etc., uh, if they're in other things, let me know because I really want to know. Uh, and yeah, I just got, I, I got to go like mentally breathe now because of all the emotions that overcame me there um, throughout this entire thing. This is just the kind of thing that really gets you thinking in the best kind of way. This is like a life changing experience, honestly. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for hanging out with me for this probably extremely long video. But yeah, I had a lot of fun and I hope it was worth the wait. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.